Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a wonderful hoof trimming video. In this video, I want you guys to play along here and see if you can spot where this cow is lame. Now for me, when I pick a cow up, I take a look at a number of things. Number one, the heel bulb and the thickness of the sole. So by the looks of this thickness of the sole on the toe that I'm currently carving at, you can tell I'm pulling off quite a lot of horn just with my knife, even before I get the grinder out. That would be a sign that of a sole ulcer in that sole. But as after I'm trimming here, we're not seeing any real bruising or massive damage to that sole. So that is getting a little worrisome because this cow was visually limping when we put her in. Now I'm trimming the opposite toe to see if there's any damage on that toe. At this point, we can already see that it's a pretty white foot and there's not much cracking. But can you spot where she's lame? So in case you guys didn't notice exactly where the spot was that she was lame, I did see it. So we're gonna place a block on and right about now, I'll point out where she's lame, that tiny little spot. So in order to save some time on this video, let's hurry up and get into it a little bit faster so we can get to the good stuff. That little black spot that I showed you back in the previous slide was called the black spot of death. It really cannot create her to die, but it is a spot that if not noticed by that little tiny spot can blow up into a very big and painful ulcer. Like I said, she was limping. And in turn, we had to find what was wrong with her. In the past, sometimes these cows would get away and you'd be like, there has to be something there. And we'd bring them back just to find that little tiny spot. As you can see now, it is opening up to what is a white line abscess. Not very bad, not very big, but still in the location of where that bone and that toe can flex to create a lot of pain. It's a very simple fix at this point, but if let go for probably another week or two, she would have developed a large pus pocket under there until it naturally ruptured on her own or we helped it through the trimming chute. But nothing hurts the pride of a hoof trimmer more than two weeks after working on an animal, having to bring them back in because of something we missed. As you can see though in this video, it'd be very easy to miss that tiny spot that I showed you before. So through this, we'll just put some salicylic acid on her. We put the block on her and we'll wrap it with duct tape so no moisture can get under there and give it a chance to dry up and start the healing process. After two or three days, that wrap will be taken off and then she'll be able to dry out, air out and heal and have a nice foot once again. Thank you all for watching this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.